guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Abarth 595 Competizione. Yes, is it time to get rid of this little car? Let's have a chat and find out. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, I'm gonna start with the good things. First of all, I love this car. I think it looks so, so cool. I love the color scheme. I'm a big fan of gray. So I love the gray with the black. I love the wheels, I love the Brembo brakes. I really like the look of the car. Inside, we've obviously got the bucket seats look great. We've got bits of Alcantara, bits of carbon fiber. Fantastic, couldn't fault that at all. It looks brilliant. Uh, other good things, I think it handles really nicely. It's a small little car, I think it drives really nicely. Um, Yes, it's a lot different to my John Cooper works, but it's basically a totally different car. Um, although they are hot hatches, they're not comparable. They're really not. They're so dear, so different. And that's kind of what led me on to this video, was they are so, so different. The German quality of the Mini is so apparent when you're driving this car, when you're using it, when you're washing it, when you're doing a lot of things to this car, even when you're just sitting in the car, it's so apparent and this is not an a German car, this is an Italian car. Now it's not to say that Italian engineering isn't good. You can look, look at the likes of uh, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati. Now these cars were most, some of the most beautiful cars that are made. However, you probably know that, for example, Lamborghini is owned by Audi. And so you get the reliability of an Audi, you get the engineering quality of an Audi, you get everything put together as perfect as an Audi would be. So actually they're not really that Italian anymore although they've kept the perfect styling. Now, if this was the case, where this was underneath, I don't know, say an S1, for example, an Audi S1, then maybe it would have been a perfect car because it's got the Italian styling, the Italian flares, but underneath is a German well-built car. I also think some of this comes from, I've had, I think I've had, I had a 1998 Mini, I've had a 2013 Mini, and obviously I've now got the, the John Cooper work. So I've had quite a few Minis, and I think I'm maybe falling out of love with the hot hatches. Um, God, they are really fun, they're really fun to drive, they look great, I think they sound great, especially the John Cooper work. So this car sounds really good as well. I just think, this kind of time of my life, I think I'm ready to move away, and in something a little bit more fun, maybe a little bit more sporty two seats, so a little bit more sexy, so a little more class. I think that's ready for me. I don't want, I don't really think I want something like an RS3, an A45. I think that's a little bit too yobby. Sorry if you have one, but I think it's just a little bit too shouty for me. I want something a little bit more st understated, a bit more unique, a little bit more exciting. I think I want something a little bit more sexy. Um, something that James Bond would drive. I think that's what I want. I'm also going to want an Aston Martin. I'm, I'm not rich, I haven't got that car, but um, yeah, something, something a little bit more sexy. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm here. You know what? On the flip side, what would be really fun is if I took out everything, took out this seat, I put like a roll cage in it, exhaust, uh, wheels, tuned it a little bit, that would be probably the flip side, so instead of getting rid of it, tuning it up, making it a crazy little car, just stick it in the garage, when I go to events, go to circuit days, track days, whatever, that might be the other alternative. However, as soon as you start thinking about that, you then think, well, I'm only going to put, I don't know, two, three grand into it, say, alright, lowering it, putting wheels on it, those kind of things. Then I think, well, if I put two or three grand into a different car, what car can I get? And then I think, well, I might as well just save it and put it into the car I want to place the John Cooper works with. And then I could get a bit of a nicer car. So actually, I kind of get to the situation when I want to, you know, make it look cooler, make it go a little bit faster, make it sound a bit better. But then I think, well, I'm just going to put that money towards a nicer car for myself anyway. So that kind of conversation dies kind of there. I don't really talk to anyone else about it because I kind of cut it off in my head. So. That's not really uh, not really alternative. I know that a lot of people modify their cars, make them look a lot nicer, sound better, and they fall in love with it. And for five, six, seven years, well, however long you have a car for, you love it and you, you don't fall out of love with it. But because I don't want to sink money into it, because it's cheap motoring, it's not expensive to run, to fill up, to tax, to insure, I think the idea of putting more money into it just isn't attractive at this time. Guys, that has been it. That has been the video. Uh, it's been really, really fun to kind of sit back and 
and talk to you guys. Normally I'm out and about driving, doing things, so it's been nice just to chat. Um, yeah, so now you know I'm going to be getting rid of this car. Finding something new, hopefully something that I'm really happy with. Um, so subscribe to the channel so you can see that journey, see me get rid of this car and in something new. If you think I'm an idiot, comment below. Subscribe to the channel so you can obviously see this going, the new one going, and also replacing the John Cooper works in future. Um, like the video, but for now, I'll see you soon. I've got the time.